Hello, my name is Nick Andirena. Today, I will be talking about the issue of concern over whether or not college athletes should be getting paid. Now, the reason college athletes should get paid is because of what they bring to the table in terms of revenue for these schools. Now, many schools such as Duke University, which is famous for the basketball program, and schools like Alabama, which is famous for the football programs, these schools profit so much off of their football, basketball, and all the different type of sports, mainly football, basketball, and baseball being the third. Now these sports bring the most money to the table, but they give little to no compensation for the athletes. All these college athletes are going to school and they get the compensation of a free education, but they are treated as professional athletes. Many times we told that they should put sports before their schooling. Now, the pros of paying these college athletes would be it encourages healthier student athletes. They are more, fo more focused on their bodies mentally and physically as if they are not performing at the highest level possible, they will not be getting paid um, quite as much. Number two, it is providing relief for these families. Many athletes come from more impoverished parts of, of the world and they struggle to make ends meet during college, not having the money to pay for their food or the housing if they don't get those scholarships. And with being an athlete treated as a professional athlete, they have to train like a professional athlete even though they're not getting paid like one. But this will help relieve the, the burden of financial troubles for these families. Um, it would stop corruption. Many schools give money under the table to athletes to persuade them to go to their schools. Many athletes like Cam Newton have been caught in these, in these accusations. And like Charles Barkley have been have even come out and said that they were giving money under the table. Uh, these paying them will also make these programs last longer as they will stay longer. Athletes usually only stay until they're eligible for whatever draft they are trying to go for. If it is an NBA player, they usually only stay, they may only go for one year and then leave for the draft. Whereas for the NFL, two, two to three years, they will stay in college until they are eligible for the NFL draft. Paying these players in college will allow them to make a financial financial decisions more wisely and give them more socioeconomic opportunities. Not only that, but it will be giving college credits to these students towards graduation. Now these students are being sent to college to hopefully gain an education. Many struggle with that as they need to uphold as many credits as possible and sometimes do not care about the education as it's only the college is only a pathway for them to get to the league. Now that is fine for many for most athletes, but if they're trying to get an education while they're at it, they can use this these athletes and put them under a work study, therefore giving them credits that will count towards the graduation. Now, doing this, it will provide another incentive to play because many college athletes will not go on to play past the collegiate level. So if all these athletes are able to go play at the college level, they may not play at the professional level, but at least they will have gained, benefited in one way or another from playing financially. And final thing is it could help lower tuition rates. And not only that, but bring better equipment and facilities to a campus. Paying the students, it would most likely be the same pay or slightly different depending on the colleges, but the facilities will make a major difference in these athletes deciding where they want to go as it will make a huge difference for them and their professional careers. Now what we went over today was the issue of whether or not college athletes should be getting paid and that they should be getting paid. And that is all. Thank you.